Hello there, I'm Kathy Klein and today we're going to talk about the Yoast score where it comes to passive voice. This is a typical issue when creating articles in the readability score. So let's go ahead and take a look at how I would try to correct these. Now keep in mind, they're not always correctable, but many times they are. So let's go ahead and take a look. So this is saying that 17.3% of sentences contain passive voice and it's more, it's almost double the 10% that they recommend. So the first thing that we're going to do is click on this I. And for some reason, many times it'll start shaking my screen. I don't know why it does that. So I apologize in advance. So what we're going to do is go up to the top and the first one so the first one you're not required to answer any medical questions and completely skip that part of the form let's try to change the sentence So let's take this out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and see if that corrected the problem. Did I do it right? So in order to do that, you do need to update the um, first, make sure that it's scheduled and that you're not updating over and over again something that's been released. So this is scheduled. I'm going to go ahead and click update. Okay, it's updated. So now let's go back down. And we have to go back to the readability tab. And we're going to click on the I again, and then go back up to the top and see if it corrected. And this is the sentence that I added. And it's no longer in purple so guess what that did fix it but we still have problems so now one thing that you should need to know is that when you click on the i and then make a change it it takes all of it away i don't know why it does that so you have to click on it again make it white and then re-click on it to make it purple to see all the other changes you don't have to change everything but we do want to get this down to 10%. Okay. Now let's go ahead and click update. So it's updated. Now we're going to go back down. Remember, we're going to follow the process again. We're going to go back down and we're going to go back to the readability. We're going to click on the I and we're going to go back and see if it's there. Okay, so it does do this, but whoops, I just noticed a problem. This doesn't make any sense. So I, I have to add the word companies because I made a change that made it not understandable. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to go back down. I know it says 13.5. I know this is green, but I like to try to continue to get this down to 10% if possible, even though the readability score turned green. So let's see. We can't really make changes to this. So
I'm going to go ahead and change this one last sentence. Okay, so this is the sentence that I came up with. This is the sentence that I'm going to delete. And let's see if that worked. So we're going to go back up. We're going to click update. Okay, and then we are going to go to the readability score. It says 11.5. So we're going to go to that last sentence. And it worked. Um, but actually, actually, I'm not sure if it worked. Let's click on the I. And it worked. So the only thing that's left is really some things that I can't really change. So that is how you work on the Yoast readability score to make it more readable by your viewers. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.